Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich. I'm your host, Mr. McCullough, and right now, we have already finished the war. Like, we literally just finished the war pretty much right before I started re recording once again. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is how it kind of turned out. I decided the Germans did probably deserve quite a bit of territory here. Maybe not everything here, but at the same point, that's pretty much where we ended at once the perm Soviet government capitulated. As you can see, our soldiers are still kind of all, well, they're all over the place, especially past Akmolinsk. So it is what it is. Um... Democratic Republic of Turkestan is still here, unfortunately. But I wanted to save uh, pretty much everything like as soon as they capitulated. So we could kickstart biochemical research, but eh, I wanted to save and do the reunify Russia and ask for the Kuril Islands with you guys. So, okay, nothing happened. Interesting. As we were, of course, still waiting and doing a proud people focus. If you'd like to read about that one, please go right ahead. But we're going to read about a pious people. Uh, well, actually, maybe not. Let's go read about anti-communist education. Now with the land back in our hands, we must get rid of all the rots and pieces of the Bolshevik filth that fell into the land before and during our struggle for liberty. These stains on a glorious republic shall be erased. So... Oh, we get, and right now we are reintegrating the Soviets with Perm, or what was Perm, so... We lose 3% political power, we lose some weekly stability, but we get a lot more cores, and 174 new seats are added to the Duma as well. Not bad. Uh, what resources do we need? We need rubber, so everything else is pretty okay, actually. Um, do it anyway because you can. It is going to war. Americans send over the Acre Islands. Seeing our argument as persuasive and unwilling to jeopardize our relationship, the U.S. has given us the Acre Islands back. Nice. Iraq has gone to war with the U.K. Very cool. Oh, Japan wants us. But I think it's probably best if we, we, were prepared uh, for potential war against the German boys because the German boys, well, they're German and they're led by a good... Interesting fellow. The savior of the, the of the dudes. Yeah. Savior of the dudes. Uh, since we're here anyways, we have a supply base. We actually do have one up there. We probably should honestly put one down here too because it's probably not going to be too good for us if we don't. Especially some, some place like that. Something like that would be pretty good to do. But, anti-communist re Um, The trial NKVD officers. Disgusting. The only word that describes these evil officers accurately. Under the Bolshevik... Menace. These opportunists and communists did their best to hinder those who fought and struggled for liberty in the name of the Bolshevik and international socialism. Now they face Dyke, the goddess of justice. Go, let's build that stuff out. Oh, there's only 13, huh? Dissolution of the Iberian Pact. Interesting. Very good. Uh, which one do we want? Interception of mission efficiency? It's... Hmm. Well, the Germans are still fighting and going on, which it does kind of suck, but hopefully we'll be ready for them. Uh, they got plenty of manpower, of course. They don't have a ton of factors. A good amount. Definitely more than us. Quite a few divisions. But hopefully, as long as we have most of our divisions in the line, we, hold out, we can hopefully hold out against them. And uh, hopefully push the Germans back to wherever they came from. There you go. Give them a thorough planning. Thorough planning is always good to do. Anything here? War propaganda? Well, we don't quite need that yet. You know what? Weapons development. Is this worth doing? No. Minus 20% research speed is not worth it. But what else are we going to spend our PP on? We got two months for this one as well. The game is looking pretty... I'm not going to lie, pretty badly, seems like. But whatever. Not great, but whatever. Keep it on the supply point, because we are definitely going to need it. Um, don't lose too fast, Lafia. Please. Please. Three to five divisions. That's not ideal. Oh, this guy's looking a million. Not bad. Huh. 21 divisions. Now, voting begins in 58 elections. As the energetic election cycle reaches the close, the Russian people are on their way to the voting booth for the 1958 parliamentary elections and the second one since 1917. People around the Russia for tune in to the news to hear the results on the radio many for the first time. Today, parliamentary elections have been held again. As the votes come in, we can now see that the winner is the Union of 17th October under Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Which, I did ask you guys yesterday whether I pronounced his name correctly. Some of you all said the G... Uh, the ZH is more like a G as in genre. The Solzhenitsyn. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably still butchering it. My apologies, but I hope I can say it at least somewhat right. Yeah, this is lacking pretty badly. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Not bueno, but we'll see. Economic shock therapy sounds like fun. Uh, no effect. Ooh. Ooh, let's do this one. Right? Rehabilitating the Red Army so we can get rid of these debuffs as fast as possible. While the Red Army is clearly a... a <clears throat> force of criminals, there are some whose crimes can be excused for the merit or for their activities or defiance, be it ideological or pragmatic, to the devilish Bolshevik. Of course. Of course. Not bad. Oh, see, now we're having some supply issues here. Not good. Not good at all. Actually, we do have 119 army XP. Y'all are still 18 combat. Get some logistic copies. The same name already exists. Don't think it does. 
There you go. Whatever we want to call them, that's fine. Art, support Artie for more soft attack. That's pretty necessary, I'll be honest as well. And then... Motorized support Artie, even more soft attack sounds pretty good. But anti-tank, honestly, probably would be the way to go. And, you know, that piercing is not very good either. How much armor does our, do our tanks have? Uh, way too much armor. Yeah, that piercing is not very good either. Hmm. Definitely could use more, though. Go and train. Train if you can. Now they're going to war with Estonia, which is fine with us. Alright, occupation policy should be fine. Local autonomy, of course, is very, very good. Perm, wow. It's not going up very much now, is it? Point one a day, basically. Kind of sad. Who's, what is Jimmy up to next? Huh. Against the enemies, and including Israel. Absolute purity, I like that one. Put some comms included. Uh, what is that? No, uh, talk slower. Well, I'll try to. No guarantee, but expanded draft. Unlimited manpower, you say? Not bad. Not bad at all. What do we have here? Not because Estonia. Invasion fleet, not bad too. Our uh, total war looks really good as well. Loyalty and purity. Yes. Other perm trials. It is over for the Bolshevik traitor. The general, soldiers, and other traitors. And collaborators with the Red Army are finally to face justice for the crimes. Against humanity. Against liberty. Against the people. And for their basic human rights, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The evidence is overwhelming. In the mere existence of the NKVD, a special police unit established in 1934, destroy any dissidents and, special, and opposition to the Bolshevik regime. Since the establishment of the Soviet Union in 1922, the regime consolidated power, ruling with an iron fist. The Communist Party was the only party legally allowed, and anyone seen as a dis dissident, both within and outside the party. We forced to work under horrible conditions in work camps, known as gulags under the Red Government. Exploiting and enslaving the people in the name of economic expansion. Also, the history of the establishment of the Soviet Union is evidence enough to sentence these criminals to the rightful punishment. Death. The communist state has led directly to the gruesome, to our gruesome civil war, and our later defeat at the hands of the fascist German menace. It is treason against the Russian nation on account of incompetence. Make them pay. Ah. Piercing, oh, that's a lot better. Oh my gosh. That is quite a bit better. Of course, it is 1958, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great, great year. Uh, anything else here? Here. Use that, because you can. Not bad. Uh, any upgrades? Yes, basic anti tank. Oh, yes, please. 60s. Oh, 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 that is not good if we wanted to defend against those guys. Hmm. Not good. I'll get some of that, too, because you can. Yeah, that's really not good for us, then. Istrian Slovenian Coalition. What the heck is that? Riv Council of Communism. Alright. Alright, not bad. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we're going to need way more divisions to help hold the front against those guys. We need way more support equipment, though. Way, 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 way more. We're looking pretty on everything except planes now, but whatever. What is this one? The Association of the Freed. Karabashev. His last stand, weekly war sport goes down. Or war sport gain. Okay, that's different. Shoot the Red Army, huh? Okay. Well, they got kind of cucked out of doing what they wanted to. It's time to finally abolish the inefficient, abuse, and miscalculated system of the Bolshevik bureaucracy. The system was designed to serve the party, not the people. Then ban the hammer and sickle. Oh, I'll give that one. Let's do this one first. Economic shock therapy. After years of an ineffective communist plan economy, we shall make plans to kickstart the economy. And what better way is there to traumatize someone or something than shock therapy? You know, the dustbin of history. We remove. Oh, we have overextended political administration, huh? Oh, Red Army integration will be removed in about a year, which sucks. It's not terrible, honestly. It's not bad. Traditional values are very nice. Well, for expansion, of course, populist economics. Like I see the ice march. American military advisors, influx of immigrants. Where, where is this? Remove overextended administration. Where's that one? Or am I just missing that? Keep extending yourselves out. You'll save a couple guns that way, too. Alright. I don't want to deal with this anymore. There you go. Deploy up there. That's fine. A little more political power as well. Steel's not bad. Oh, now we're really building again. That's good. 
Keep building up the railroads. Keep building up all, those, all the supply bases because we definitely, 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 definitely gonna need it. This is quite worrisome seeing this. Actually, kind of doubt. Yeah, I'll get some volunteers. God dang it. I wonder if they're gonna get a war, go to war with, like the Toronto Court at all before us. Probably not, but that'd be really good if they could. I don't want to do. Wow, look at our manpower now. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a. That's a lot. Not gonna lie. That's a lot of manpower. Oh, oh, we actually got more pa factories too. Oh, it's so nice. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't realize that. Um, go down to like five maybe, and then do that, do that, do that. Nice. Okay, we actually got those cores, which is super, super nice. So let's ban the hammer sickle. Our government is finally moving to ban the evil, hateful symbols of the former elitist regime. No more shall our people bear witness to these disgusting symbols. Cool. Yeah, we have only 38 divisions here, which is not great. Um, we'll get to something else here. I wanna, I'm thinking anti-air, but... Hmm, we're only 63. We haven't really done too much about it. Air attack is not bad. Honestly, that'd probably be good to do, though. We actually lose Pierce if we do anti-air, though. Hmm. We're gonna need another general. Vladimir, yes. Vladi, Vladi, Vladi. Uh, I guess we'll get General Motors. No, we cannot. Okay. Savitsky. Orlov. Vernadansky. Oh, actually, what do we have here? AKM's nice. <sighs> hmm. What else? Industry. Nuclear stuff. Weapons and stuff. Ah, go some radar stations. Well, might as well. AKMs, of course. Can pick up here and do AKMs. Nice. Keep working on them. Support equipment. Oh, tank? Oh, it's a horse. It's fine. Not bad. This is very concerning, though. But the, these divisions spread out this much. They're not going to be able to hold any place at all. Hmm. I can't go to total mobilization. We go down to partial mobilization, which is okay, but not great. We're almost done here, which is good. Keep building up some more roads. We're going to probably get some synthetic refiners as well, but we got to keep building some more millies. Because, my God, do we need more. Go to 5. We're all serious. Fine. We already have 25 for this. Not bad. Look up again. It's fine. Oh, there goes those guys. Well, that sucks. And bound hammer sickle. Good luck, guys. We're going to need it. But into the dustbin of history. The oppressive Bolsheviks are no more. Now, but not but a relic of a terrible past where people can finally turn a new leaf under the banner of the Russian Republic. Free and indivisible. Citizen Emperor published. The Republic has been for years considered a safe refuge for both Chinese and Russian dissidents alike, but perhaps one of the most infamous of these dissidents is the former Republic Emperor of Manchuria and the Chi China Asian Gyorio Puyi. Having fled the Japanese regime, puppet regime in Manchuria following the swift collapse of the Japanese Empire. The featured emperor had quietly slept out of his former ancestral homeland and lived in relative obscurity until the Russian Republic's founding. Where I reluctantly become a naturalized citizen in the Republic, Puyi finally became known to the press as a local oddity far from home. Despite multiple requests from the Chinese nationalist government to extradite him to stand for war crimes, he has none nevertheless and nonetheless lived his Russian life in relative peace. On the encouragement of his closest friends, Puyi is now publishing an autobiography, autobiography about his life experiences, from the Forbidden City all the way to Vladivostok. Dead of the Citizen Emperor, the book was quickly translated into Russian and became an instant bestseller among Russia's fascinated audience. Despite outrage from the Chinese government, however, copies of the book have also been sold in China. Praised by literary critics as a gifted author, Puyi has an, an interesting change of faith founded his true calling as a writer. What a fascinating story. And, of course, like earlier, we did read about the Into the Dustman of History, and there we go. But, crossing the AA line? It is time to take back what was taken from us long ago. We must free our lands from the West. And hopefully now, after that, I've kind of reloaded the game. We'll hopefully move a little bit faster, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Um, it's disappointing that we can't move any faster, but, oh well, kickstart nuclear research. Who needed political power? Reintegrate the caucuses. Well, we do have to go to war with the Germans first, so it's going to take us a while before we actually get there, so. It is what it is. Not super worried about it, though, but you know what? I would be super worried about doing that. So now, we got a lot of divisions that aren't really great. I'm kind of surprised that the Zapadnaya Tver is still alive, but I suppose it is what it is. Association of the Freed. So what is Germany... Please don't go to war with us next, which we probably sh won't be going to war with us next, but still. 
But yeah, I do want to do Gerbil sometime. Gerbil sounds like a lot of fun. So I can't compare him to like TNO's Goring. So we'll see what happens. Apparently he just wants to go to war. Loyalty and purity policy. Ignite the struggle. Oh yeah, I saw that one last time. A lot of less ability. Just, just you know, just when you do that, you get five percent. Uh, you lose five percent political power every single day. But join Ally Desire. Gerbil's economics. Does that mean Gerbonomics? Oh, huh. not bad. Interesting. Yeah, that just sounds like so much fun. We have 109 factories. I do want to make more civvies, but we'll get there once we start we to finish this uh, supply base. Supply. Oh wait, what happened here? Oh, they actually made a uh, Arx Commissariat. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Was not expecting that, but okay. Okay. Arx Commissariat Calcus. And you're an actual puppet. Arno Shikadans. You need focus to you? They sort of do. Our American counterparts. Following our glorious victories over the Soviet Union, our own legitimacy as a sole state body of Russia has been solidified. With this now newfound prestige, our friendships with the Americans now prosperous like never before. Now one to pass upon Russia's new and vast opportunities, America's fast food chains have announced their intentions to open franchises. Starting in Perm, Novos will be able to come out of the stock. While the move is a welcome for one of many, the dominant Russian fast food chain Mikhaili is rumored to be nervous about the new competition presented by ambitious Yanks and what could quickly become a corporate rivalry unlike any other. Perhaps a bit of competition wouldn't be too bad. Probably not. Following that, we, we'll probably save this one a little bit for last because we don't really need that, so we'll do a pious people. We are a pious people. We believe in God and God believes, trusts, and of course, loves us. We must spread the church abroad into all our former lands for the glory of us and God. What's well, not to love? Especially when we get another uh, <clears throat> supply base down there, too. Hopefully, we'll do okay here, though. Just a little worried about how we will do in the end. Oh my gosh, we need so much more anti tank, though. Not good. Oh my gosh, how many tanks do they have? Alright, okay, so we gotta get more piercing. This is just. Uh, it's not looking good. Get way more anti tank. Um. I'm just gonna do that. Well, let's go two at a time. How about that? Seventy percent, sure. <clears throat> that does not look too bad. Go seventy two at a time, building up some more infrastructure. That'd be good. And we could do this, but there's really no point to do that just yet. Um, yeah, not great. So we want to rush building as much of an army as we possibly can right now. Infantry template seven is okay. It's twenty combo width, which is not bad, but twenty combo width, I'm not feeling it anymore. Uh, that is okay. It's not great either. What is up with these motorized divisions? Are we actually using this? APCs and then mechanized. AP. The soft attack's pretty good, though. Light SP artillery gives you plus 50. We have a heavy SP artillery. Well, we don't have any. That kind of sucks. Mechanized. Well, somewhat mechanized. Uh, motorized. That's an okay division template, too. These guys are fine. We, of course, we would prefer main battle tanks, but maybe that's just me. Alright, we are pious people. Now we got to figure out, take <clears throat> the Religious Institutions Tax Act, the Immigration Vetting Act. Uh, the Orthodox Church is part of the state. They represent the spiritual needs of the people and it would be criminal to tax such an institution, but the smaller religious institutions are just another organization. They are minorities, and as minorities, they do not represent the needs of the majority and are not part of the state. Who should tax other non-Orthodox institutions versus the Immigration Vetting Act? Nations and ethnic groups should stay where they are. Immigration is a betrayal to your nation. Instead of working for it, you leave for your own game. For money or education, from now on, ethnic Russians, ethnic Russians, have priority in immigration above all other nations. We are building a Russian Republic here, by the Russians, of the Russians, and for the Russians. Hmm. I don't know why we can't do both. I like both. Oh, restore order. Oh, to Caucasus? Yeah, that would be actually pretty good to do. Uh... Yeah, we'll see first what happens, though. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of divisions. It just depends on what Germany does next. If they go to war with us next, that probably would be good. If they go to war with Lithuania, that's fine with us. Romania, these guys up here, too. I mean, that'd be fine with me. I don't really care. Um, okay, they're going to war with those guys next. That's kind of what I figured. I hope they go to war with the French state. That'd be good. That'd actually be very quite good for us. Um, what else here? New Capital, Association of the Freed. Yeah, I, I don't want to go to war with them, but no, that's not, probably not from the best idea. But I'm thinking... Let's go with immigration vetting. You know, we just reunified our nation. This is four Russians, and, well, I, want, I really want to do both, but we'll probably do this one. Immigration vetting is good. Oh, and since we build that up, let's get another city as well. 50% is not bad. They added found a total of six equipment and the Association of the Freed. And the game must be lagging super hard because Muscovine is probably being released. 
90 percent looks pretty good to me too not bad and was i correct Rex Kumasar Muscovine is back once again under Alec von dem Bach Z blah 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 Nordic propaganda huh all right then let's see what we can do about this for now us versus our greatest mortal foes besides reds all the way up here thank you thank you there you go Mordovia deploy there if you can there you go oh, more horse boys that's fine I know I shouldn't be really spreading them up or whatever I do like the horse boys Yeah, could you, like, not all go to the same place here? Pious people. Oh, I see what the issue was. My bad. Good. Cool, and yeah, that one. Thank you. Now you should spread out a lot more. Okay, there we go, that's better. Should be better. A mob ad earlier. What do we have over here? Anything? Ah, muscadine as well, of course. Um, get this open, we're gonna need this. Our part of the government, of course. The Great Fast Food Debate. The first American-owned fast food chains have opened Russia's major cities today, and already the prospect of a legendary corporate rivalry seems imminent. Seeking to maintain the monopoly in the industry by any means necessary, Michaeli Burgers and Fries has launched massive ad campaigns across the radios and newspapers, as well as for the first time TV. Smearing American brands is nothing more than heartless su suits with no true passion for the hamburger. The ads have been for the first time used Russian nationalist rhetoric to promote themselves as the part of the patriotic choice for every true Russian. And a stunt considered by some to be shallow corporate sponsorship, President Alexander Solzhenitsyn visited a Mikhaili diner and Perm to much media fanfare. As pictures of the most powerful man in Russia chowing down in Hamburg quickly circulated through the Russian press, it would appear that the race to win the hearts and appetites of Russia has only just begun. Perhaps a bit of competition wouldn't be too bad. But reignite the Russian spirit. Uh, the Russian spirit has been abused so many times in history, boots from all corners of the world slammed against it, but it always managed to reignite itself and pop out once again. With the final traditional reforms reaching the people, we have successfully reignited the heart that was destroyed by Freemasons and Communists in the past 40 years. Not bad. Millie, City, other stuff, not bad. Oh my gosh, 4300, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe not do this, but you know what, we gotta go two at a time. That is bad. Um... We should be able to pierce that armor. Yeah, they got quite a few deficiencies, but it looks like they are missing some equipment, which is good to see too. I just hope we'll be ready for. Oh my gosh, Yugoslavia looking kind of thick in some we in a very awkward way. Mediterranean pact. Oh, they took out Ljubljana, I guess. Uh, Mediterranean pact. It's not bad. So it looks like pre TNO somewhat ish, roughly. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't mess with the lore before in the TNO timeline too much. Can't tell what they're doing. What's Paris up to? Free France. French state. Uh, what's America up to? They love by well, who? Stevenson, some weird guy. Uh, coloreds. Racial segregation. Cool. The 1959 Yucatan Berg mayoral election. Throughout Russia, mayoral elections are, of course, common. An expression of the people's will to determine how even their cities run, a democratic process. Relatively uncommon in the Russian Empire and Soviet Union. In a republic, they have become a frequent event in larger cities such as Vladivostok, Novosibirsk, Pem, and Krasnoyarsk. However, these mayoral elections rarely receive much national attention and are typically considered just part of local politics. A recent election in the city of Yekaterinburg, however, has bucked that tradition, most no, known mostly infamously for being the site of Epatiev House, where the Romanov family was executed in 1918 with the recent mayoral election in Yekaterinburg, as resulted an unexpected landslide victory for little-known opposition candidate, a candidate promising anti-corruption and construction of affordable housing in order to stop homelessness, and the rapid development of infrastructure and industry, promising to turn Yekaterinburg into the Detroit of the Urals, a new mayor Boris Nikolaevich. Yeltsin has no political experience whatsoever, having previously been a construction worker. In a speech to the press following his victory, Yeltsin, or Yeltsin said that he had no further political ambitions for the time being, and that fulfilling his electoral promises was his only goal at the present. Perhaps he will be president one day. One day. Amendments. Oh, crap. Oh, I clicked on something. Monthly population stability goes down. Civil War veterans? Um, okay. 
Oh, this is kind of cool. Um. Oh, so we passed with the majority. 138. Uh, interaction points minus... So you do that minus 15. You do that minus 5. There you go. That's a nice majority we have. Okay, I didn't realize we would have amendments here too. My bad. That's alright. It's a war of veterans. Not bad. I mean, we lose a little bit of stability. But that's okay. I don't mind losing a little bit of stability for that. After reigniting the Russian spirit. I want to wait until this stuff is done. Nordic trade. Or maybe not. In a stressful west. Cementing our legacy. Oh, we get a freezer slot. Friends in Nanjing. Come to the border of the stressful west. The west is not what it used to be. The clans are being a beacon of liberty and freedom or nothing. What clans at this point? They're fighting against each other and within each other. They have abandoned the continent for their own selfish profit. Instead of dying with a rifle in hand, they don't trust us. They don't trust each other and we don't trust them. It'd be better for us to seek resolutions with other more trustworthy enemies. Or countries. Not enemies, but countries. I think we spent... Plus 5%. Um, honestly, it makes more sense to do this one. Yeah. Sarah doesn't mean too much, though. There you go. Every single one of them is going to vote for us. We don't need anybody else. We are good enough. Nice. Wow, West African Federation. Did you get cores on all... No, you don't get cores on all this. But that's a lot of cores. At least that's very impressive in terms of size. Size matters sometimes. Alright, let's keep going with this stuff, too. Um, 60% is not bad. Thank you. Oh, God, I forgot about all the infrastructure here. Good, 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 good. All right, uh, I'll go up there as well. As we're waiting to get a couple more focuses done, we can get some more divisions out as well, because we're going to need a... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, what? We What are these? Oh. Even if we were to go here... Oh, because yeah, we're the Russian Republic. Oh, uh, we'd probably get killed pretty instantly, and I don't want to do that, so... Yeah. Get a couple more divisions out. We might actually be able to contest these guys. But then again... Uh, how many divisions you got? None, which is good. None, which is good. Oh, those Rex come start Austin. I didn't even realize that. Heinrich Luz. That's nice mustache, bro. Uh, Goebbels, plenty of that. Um, how many divisions do we have in total? 58 of those guys. 50, 66. That's not much, though. <clears throat> I think I might want to wait till they go to war with someone else as well, still. Uh, it's probably just for the best. Can't really afford to go to war with them yet, so go do that, too. 5,000 anti tank. Tons of artillery and tons of infantry equipment, too. The Vetting, Immigration Vetting Act passed. Despite the opposition's strong stance, Oct. Oktyabrutsky's efforts in pushing the bill passed and succeeded. Alexander Solzhenitsyn remarked that this is a truly great political victory for the Oktyabrutsky and improved the people's opinion in the government. As a major step forward for the policy agenda of Oktyabrutsky. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Apologies for my mispronunciations as well. We could do that, but we can wait. Nice. Oh, I didn't forget that too. There you go. Make yourselves a little better. Yeah, I don't know. We definitely need more anti-tank, though. What are we doing over here? Probably trade away for two. It's fine. We still have one, two, some. Yeah, not bad. Just keep making more millies. Millies, 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 millies will be key. Uh, no, we're good. It's just for West. We did oh, most of these focuses already. Description debate. Or sport organization minority enlistment. Uh, let's do manpower. The people do not want to go to the battlefield and risk losing their lives for something they do not know well or at all. That thought scares them to take rifles in their hands and defend their homeland. Something every honorable man and inhabitant of a state and nation should do when that fateful hour comes. Of course, not everything is as simple as it seems, and we will have to do our best so that we can win people over for the upcoming wars and build an army. However, the government has an idea, and it has the resources that could serve as a quality compensation for its sacred duty, which we'll perform if they enlist in our military. Or in the military, really. Good. Nine days left. Um, mechanized, not bad. Hey, the pork looking actually pretty good now. Uh, I don't want to take away too much from it, but we do need to share the civvies just a little around a little bit more. We're down to 20. Make more guns, so we can make way more anti-tank pieces right now, because it's just not enough, I think. I just don't think it's going to be enough. So many divisions not there yet. Aye, aye, aye. 
Is Germany go to war with someone else, please. Please. Oh, the greater good. Fully militarized youth. They're going to have so much manpower by the time they're done here. Spying on the leadership. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. High command purged. Increased sub production. Labor death camps sound like fun. People storm. Expanded draft, of course. Invasion fleet we saw earlier. Manpower. There we go. Nice. 59. Uh. Let's see. Incentives for enlistment. The people do not want to go to the battlefield and risk losing their lives for something they do not know well, or, well at all. Oh, did you see that one? Oh. Oh, maybe I didn't read about manpower. No? They listen to the military. Oh, exact same one. What? What? Why do they do exact same one? What the heck? That's not cool. I wanted to read a different one. Oh, well. Whatever. It is what it is. Hey, I just don't want to go to war yet. Just, we gotta wait. 60 guns a day. Once we get out of our deficit, then maybe we'll go to war with the Germans. Maybe we'll see. But that might be a good thing to do then. Actually. Man, that would be good. Crossing the AA line. I don't want... It just, I'm not going to risk it yet. Ooh, immoral warfare. Nice. Very nice. Mm. We do have a few forts here. How much piercing do you have? 35. That's not a lot. Not gonna lie, that's not a lot. They do have some supply issues here too, though, which is very good to see. Uh, how are our soldiers doing? We have 79 divisions on the border, which might be enough. Maybe? Maybe? What are we doing here? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Not bad. We need more guns still, again. Huh? My goodness. We can load by 5 more. I'll feel confident doing 5 more. That's fine. More guns, more infantry equipment, please, please, please. Let me stop training. Would we be actually be able to go to war? Because part of me just wants to see what what happened. And it's probably a bad idea if we try actually anything here, but you know, you know. Let's see. Come to the line as well. Mm, what is this? Oh, bombing. That's fine. What is this? Logistics fulfillment. Our guys are moving on. That's fine. A couple more days. Let's see if we can go to war. Just why not? Get these guys over here first, though. Oh, it's gonna take a while. That sucks. Almost there. Almost there. Sudan gains independence. Conscription debate. There are two opposing sides of the military in regards to conscription. Russian chauvinist voices who support the military being led by ethnic Russians feel that there are no other real choice, as Russians are the longest military history. Not to mention that supposed dangerousness of having non-ethnic Russians leading a Russian military. On the other end, there's a pluralist who support a multi-ethnic military from all peoples of Russia. What's the best choice to be made here? Well, the best choice is to save the game on occasion so you don't lose any of your progress. So that's always good to do, too. <coughs> One thing I don't understand is why won't the Germans liberate the Ukraine? They liberate everyone else but the Ukraine. So, um, are they getting down there? They'll be there on there very soon. Caucasus, yeah. Yeah, they're missing quite a bit of equipment, it looks like. Maybe it's anti-tank, but we'll see. And if it doesn't go well, then it doesn't go well. We'll try some th other things off screen. Just want to hold the line against them. That's all I want. That's all I care about. Hold the line. We might be able to in some areas. Some of these guys are malicious. And some of them are just you know, malicious. That's very weird. Quite a few tanks. Hmm. We'll see in about a week, though. Republic of Pakistan. Pack, pack, Pakistan. Keep working that one for now first. Not good to go to war when you have such a deficit, but whatever. 77 a day, huh? Alright, so with that mine, we go to war with the entire group now. Could we actually beat someone up here? I'd say so far, yes. Now, I'm not going to attack too much just because they will be attacking our line quite a bit, so. Or the convoys, we go to war with Muscovine, which I don't know why we'd want to do that, but we'll do that one too. That'll be good to do. Go 
good. If you can't go in here as well, that'd be good as well. If you can circle them, please, thank you. Caught in the Slovak Republic, that's nice, guys. <coughs> nice. Hey! Okay, well, we'll take it. It's only one for now, but you know what? We'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Uh-oh. And that's what I thought would happen. Oh, they're logistic bombing us. Oh, God. Not good. Not good whatsoever. Ooh, they're already pushing us back. That's not good. 4,000 losses versus 19,000. Then again, it doesn't really matter about the losses count. Um, just kind of hold as best you can. We're going to get pushed back quite a bit, but that's alright. It happens. Yeah, we could have some um, anti air around here, probably. Sentence for an enlistment. Good. Oh, yes. I'm kind of surprised the Americans don't want to send us anything, too. Conscription debate. Yeah. Overall, I think we're holding out ish. Maybe ish. Hold up for now. Hold up for now. Keep making millions and civvies. My god, do we need him? How many men have we lost? I don't understand why it's so laggy. 27,000 versus 47,000. Really, against 48,000, that's not bad. We have a lot of millies. They're slowly pushing us back. But I can't imagine they'd have that much equipment here. I mean, yeah, their industry's pretty good, but still. 70, maybe? 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 Uh, we'll probably encourage Russian enlistment. There don't have too many soldiers as long as we have people we can win on our side. What we do now is just to encourage a further influx of recruits in our military ranks. Drastically or not, to increase the number in the Russian armed forces. We will serve the Russian minorities, considering that we are the closest to them at the moment. And our goals are perhaps the most in line with our aspirations. Their aspirations. Nothing will stop in our efforts to create a strong army. Yeah, this might have been a bad idea. And that's all a bunch of red. This is kind of dumb. Uh, man, I wish we were stronger. Russia just does not have enough industry. Just does not. Of course, the more land they take, the weaker they do become because of all the resistance that they do have. <coughs> Which is very, very good for us, so. Um, go to war when you're not really ready is not always a good idea, but, you know, whatever. Happens. I'll give that the debuffs are good as well. Yeah, they did take the supply base, but at least we'll get that back later on. How many have we lost? 100? Wow. We've lost a lot of guys, which is kind of unfortunate. These guys should be able to hold out better than this, though. But then again, we don't have we don't have air superiority. So, I'm not sure what else we can really do without air superiority. Because Russia just does not have enough industry. I don't understand why we can't get any more, or they won't go to war with anyone else. Why is the Toronto Corps doing nothing? Questions you really always ask, but, you know. Devs never seem to have an explanation for it. Well, these guys should be taking way, 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 way more uh, uh, resistance. Way, 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 way more. These divisions aren't bad. They just have so many divisions and so much uh, uh, industry. It's not funny. Take Gorky back. You should be able to hold it. You're not going to lose this one. You're gonna force defense. He's going there too, that'd be good. Doesn't matter to me. We got more than enough Russian bodies to help hold the line. And start suffering a little bit more attrition for these pieces of garbage. Could not even win there. My goodness. That sucks. They're actually going to delete some of these divisions, huh? Yeah, they lost it. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, conscription debate. Oh, yep. Yes, please. Our population's fine with us.
Well, it's looking slightly better for us. Slightly better. Not great. Slightly better. Not looking good here either, but whatever. Um, more millies. More millies, please. Hmm. There you go. They need to pay dearly for all this stuff. Yeah, it looks like we are slowly, slowing their advance, which is good, 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 good. It's going to be qu costly, though. Quite, quite, quite costly. And I'm surprised no one else has upgrades. Seriously, why does no one else have upgrades here? Okay, come on, Toronto Accords. Someone else go to war with Germany or Germany go to war with someone else. It makes no sense why they're not doing anything like that. You actually might be able to still win there, so. Oh, they're doing force defense. Look at that. Don't worry about attacking there for now. It's fine. You'll be fine over there, too. Cool. Hmm... After that one, stoke the flames of freedom. We'll get us in one place forever and hope to get what we want. The results we've been looking for for a long time, no. We have to get our feet and light the torch that was handed to us when we returned to our motherland. To let a flame on that torch called freedom and to bravely rush towards the enemy who was trying to take away that freedom that we got even a long time ago. Why not calm down until we get it completely? We've not given up during the previous years. We will not give up now and we will not give up our fight for freedom in the future either. They're still slowly pushing. Don't worry about attacking that one for now. Actually, if you do attack, make sure you have enough reinforcements. I'm sure why they keep doing force defense. I guess it should be good enough. Come on. Keep holding out. Ooh, we could just go right there and snipe these dudes. That'd be great. Yeah, you wanted this. You're gonna t you're gonna suffer the consequences, son. We lost a lot of guys, I'm not gonna lie, we lost a lot more guys, way more guys than I thought we would, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Oh, I like this. Keep them um, here. Keep them um, getting so much attrition. They want that towel? Well, they'll lose the other towel then. Go ahead and lose that one too. Their armor, probably. You get them in there, maybe. See what you can do about that. Good, good, good. Hope they're taking a lot of losses from attrition. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of losses. What the heck? They got in. Oh my god. How do you get encircled, you pieces of garbage? You know, I'd rather just delete that division. That's stupid. That's incredibly stupid. Yeah, Gribble should be super easy to play as. I'm kind of excited to play as Gribble sometime. Good, good, good. And that one, too. Suspensions. It is almost 1969. Or 1960, I should say. Shock therapy. Ooh, that sucks. Could definitely use a l quite a few more guns. Quite a few more. Actually, do we have more? Oh, that's not bad. Good job, guys. They should have literally no compliance. Literally no compliance. 3.8. Resistance growth should keep... It should be spiking, if anything. But I want to go to war because it's just so boring. There's nothing here to do except go to war with the Germans now. Which I just don't agree for us to do. But, like... What else were we supposed to do, man? The heck is up here? They're trying to break up around us. Ooh, they are trying to make an encirclement again. That's not good. Well, they are taking more... What the... Oh, what? What happened to our front line system? Okay, I'm going to have to redo this one just because this... This is not fair. This is absolutely not fair. What the heck happened here? All right, everyone. So it's now 1960. February 16th. I've done a few more focuses. As you can see, we got, we're got now launching an attack. Uh, they're not looking too good. We're, do, we're looking okay. I mean, I've spent a little bit more time. They're apparently forcing defense. Um, Yeah, we're not going to win everywhere, but, you know, it is what it is. The point is to do a lot of damage to them. Now, the reason off-screen... Uh, well, I checked it off-screen. They released... 
or actually Scuba Sorry, Oral, which actually really hurt us really badly. That's why we got these places like like really hurt, like or not really hurt, but they like, taken over, which really sucks, which I really don't agree with. But we've done some other focuses off screen. We've done equipment. Of course, one of the issues we had to solve to supply our armies is issue military equipment. We cannot rely on the older models we have at the moment, but we must direct all our forces towards modernization of the same, but also the procurement of other equipment that will be of great benefit to us in fear of the conflicts. Modernize frontline support. In order to ensure the best efficiency during the battles ahead of us, we cannot always rely on the main units that are at the front. One of the biggest roles during the war, as far as the land part of the war is concerned, is the fort that stands on the side, behind enemy lines, or on the front itself. And it tries everything in its power to help the main troops win the war. But by further modernization of the equipment, as well as combat readiness, we'll be able to count on them at most, almost any time. If war breaks down, and when it does, they will show their teeth to all our enemies. Mechanization along American lines. The Americans will give great help in both establishing a stable government in the country and supplying our army with equipment of higher quality than the ones we are used to. Our current goal is to start mechanizing our army, and our long-term partnership will help us in that. And they are good in spirits for such an endeavor. If you succeed in that, they will be able to build a more powerful army than we have had so far. And motorization of the army. An army that relies only on its feet and walks hundreds of kilometers without interruption will never achieve the same effect as if one has a large number of combat trucks, as well as transport that could transport three times less to the front than a soldier in his backpack. What well, our goal now is to redirect our resources from further training of trucks that we will transfer immediately to the front line so that they will always be at your service during battle. Of course, one of these things. Oh, this doesn't go to oh, Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Um, one of the things that I forgot that the Germany does have to suffer through, which I now seeing as, you know, we're on the, this side of things. Um, and we're not fighting as the Germans, but fighting the Germans, is the fact that they do get penalties. Ooh, the window, that's not good. Germany does get penalties, and they don't act fast enough. So, 56% uh, stability, not great, but they do get penalties that they don't do move fast enough. Earth quotas. Kind of recovery. Reformed officer corps. Preparations for sea line, which is good to see as well. Actually, we're still doing relatively okay. We're, I think we're out of equipment at this point, but um, global economics, of course. Um, equal Germans. Books, Grand Project, Spaz Era, no. Uh, where is that? Propaganda, Cult of Truth. So they want the Potty Chancellor. I don't know where that is. Oh, sea Line. Where is Sea Line? Oh, there it is. Prepare for Sea Line. So they might still go for Sea Line. Naval Frenzy, of course. But it is what it is. Uh, we we'll probably want to stop attacking. We're doing okay ish. We're not, we're not doing great. We're doing okay ish. So. Losses include over half a million for us, but at least they lost more than us so far. I don't like that. When you when they release Oral, we, we lose our territory, which I don't agree with at all, but whatever. Yeah, you guys keep up and out. Keep doing. Keep doing the best you can. Um, you guys up here, just do the best you can as well. No guarantees for anything, of course, but still. Plenty of political power. We're still struggling quite a bit, but, you know, what else is new? And for this stuff, they should be taking way, 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 way more resistance. Um, it's looking okay. It's just very laggy. I understand. It's, it, I think it's just my computer, though. Maybe. Maybe. But we'll see. I hope, it, hope it's not my computer. But anti-armor innovations. Now, one of the problems we face at the front, especially in Russia, are armored vehicles that are so deaf that as they arrive. What we need is not to compete in the number of armored vehicles with other countries, but to work on their destruction if we find ourselves in a battle with them. The engineers that will work to achieve the required amount of anti-armor equipment that we will use for all troops will, that will one day be at the front. We need to do that. Work on that. Something that's hard. And Sikorsky's hands. One of Simeon's greatest wishes was to build a large and quality army that will be able to cope with all the challenges that lie ahead. And we'll work to fulfill that wish for our chief of army staff, of course. Those will not be an easy undertaking, but if we manage to catch enough speed, we'll be able to have a large enough army in a few years. Which will be our pride in the Far East. Ooh, still making more millies. Nice. Good, good, good. 40% uh, is not great, but I'll take it. As well as 50% right now, too. That's almost done, so I'm not worried about that. Thank you. Oh. Not bad. And then the Sikorsky's hands. Air combat adventures are one of the three factors that everyone must face in war. We have one wish that we plan to fulfill to the very end. The construction of modern helicopters that will sow fear when they appear in the sky and start their deadly attacks. As well as the transfer of troops across the battlefield. If everything goes in perfect order, we'll be able to fulfill that wish and further improve our aviation. Oh, look at this. Oh, did they capitulate? Oh. Don't let them escape. Seriously, do not let them escape at all. Kill them all off. How dare they try to do that crap to us earlier. That's the only reason why they encircled us because of the stupid gaming mechanics. That's literally it. No, I don't understand why we can't get any traits here, but whatever. Oh, actually, since we're here, forget about that. Uh, offensive, go offensive. Yeah, that'd be better. Forget about this stuff too. Mm. The queen of battle, intelligence army. You know what? Best of the best. Got it. leadership. You know what? Let's go with best of the best. Imperial quick improvisation. Not bad. Infantry ex experience gain. It's not bad. We're not losing Engineer Corps. That one's, we don't really need that one either. Cavalry attack's not bad. 
Daniel's political power gain is not bad. But let's get some more infantry experience. We're using a lot of infantry. Static warfare is okay. I should have used this earlier. I forgot about this stuff. My apologies. Um, additional delay. Unexpected thrust. Uh, more HP. Relentless assault. Uh, give more recon, maybe. And this one was... Electrician assault. So that one. Cool. You. Electrician assault is probably the way to go. Some guy's been wounded. You got level 6, which is fine. Thank you. Well, infiltration is up for now. Oh, we don't have command power, maybe. Oh, he's not, he's not high enough level yet. It's fine. It is what it is. Hey, look. Oh, wow. Look at these guys. Oh, my God. Look how laggy it is. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just keep going in. Keep going in. Keep going in. And get him eventually. Not bad. Kill those, kill, kill those tanks. Yeah, I wish I would go to war with someone else, though. It doesn't make any sense. Like, they're just planning the entire time and doing nothing. Oh, I guess U Ukraine was also liberated as well. Liberated, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Not really liberated, but you know what I mean. Come on. There's only two divisions left. Good, good, good. So how, where do we put them at now? 800,000? That's not bad. Where are these guys at? What is this? Labor death camps, birthing quotas, still fighting us. It's got plenty of manpower, of course. They got plenty enough equipment, though. Yeah, doing this is kind of annoying, to be honest with you. But they have a lot of divisions here and there. Probably best, best, best to hold off for now. Uh, let everyone else hold and recuperate our losses. Let, oh my gosh, and now they're attacking us again. Of course. But we look... Oh, hello. Did we just change colors or something here? Look at that. I kind of like this. Um, Sending his heart. This, of course, he's hands. Yes. No, he did really well there for a while. That sucks. We can do right there. If anything, you guys could probably actually help out right here. And found the airborne Cossacks. The further course of air battles is the construction of parachute brigades that will be able to take significant positions throughout the enemy territory, but also in urban areas. At high speed, and which divisions are more suitable for such a task than the Cossacks? Who can move freely and quickly wherever they appear? By training special parachute brigades filled with Cossacks, we'll be able to achieve great speed in case we need them in such occasions. Yes, please. This is stupid. They, they literally have no supply through up here. They should have none. Do not like this whatsoever. <sighs> Germany needs someone else. They need the Toronto Accords to kill these guys off. I don't understand why they will not go to war with each other. It doesn't make any sense. America's just sitting here doing nothing. Home of the free by doing nothing. Not even economically. Super curious. That's nice, but if you don't use them... What's the point of them if they're not going to use them, so. My god, look how much they really... Okay, oh, hello. Can you actually go and win? I kind of really doubt it. But, you know, you never know, I guess. Alright, I mean, we'll try it. We have 90 divisions. They have only up to 108. We cut off quite a few of them, actually, earlier off screen, but which is really nice. But, you know what? You never underestimate the AI. You never know what they're going to be up to. Put out of this one. We'll do that one. A couple more, maybe. Uh, modernizing the Navy. Honestly, I'm probably not going to be able to get to this stuff, maybe. But if you want to read about modernizing the Navy, please go ahead. Of course, cruisers, a new high seas fleet, dominating the Pacific, appropriate American radar systems, and the Russian Marine Corps, and prioritize destroyers, refurbish subs, defend our waters, convoy protection stratagems, and the Russian Coast Guard. Not bad. Yeah, if you do that, you might still be able to win. They're only militia, so... We'll see. I don't know. I don't think... It's only 1960, so the Germans have been here for a while in Muscovy, but... Hmm, I don't know. I wish you could just core stuff as you get to there, but you can't. I don't think you can. It's going to be nice to take out, but... Oh, did we get that? No, we didn't get that back yet, I think. 
Nice. Six. Oh, well, we're doing a little better than earlier. What's the plot like? Eh, that's not bad. That's not terrible. We need way more anti tank, though. Way, 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 way more anti tank. Oh my god, stop invading me, you pieces of garbage. This is stupid. This is so stupid. You're gonna force defense. Oh, okay, no, maybe not. You guys are fine over there. Yeah, they're still able to put up a massive fight against us. Hmm. It's not a lot of fun doing it like this. You should be able to win easily. Easily be able to win. Easily be able to win. 352. How can you not win here? I guess we don't have air superiority, but still. Yeah, it's all just air superiority. That's all it is. Yeah, we can't compete against that. That's kind of ridiculous. So I'm probably going to spend a little bit more time off screen doing this one. Uh, we've already read that one. I already talked about modernizing the Navy. Uh, focus on fighters. Bombers have long gone out of the fashion of war. For now, the main shock wave is a fleet of planes that need to shoot down other planes. With the further construction of aircraft factories, that will be focused on the construction of fighters. We can be a far numerical advantage in the number of fighters. If we can add that to the many you that that would many would reach for the bombers we will be able to shoot down their planes and thus their entire squadron of bombers on which you would spend demand depend so much the future of air warfare lies in fighter planes the white hawk's doctrine to win a war we must adjust different tactics so that we can defeat our enemies but in this case it's not a question of army doctrine but of that of our aviation which will play a significant role if we re redirect our military efforts in the direction of new air doctrines we need to, we will be able to create new experienced aviation that are where and wherever it flies streamline battlefield support well, what our aviation needs now at this moment is to be a support to the ground forces during the battle. By maximizing the performance of our planes and the general experience of our soldiers, we'll be able to build tactics that will be invincible on the battlefield wherever we appear. But devising those tactics is only half the job done. We'll have to support the spread of this tactic among our ranks at a massive level so that every soldier knows what to expect and how to cope in battles. The Russian Valkyries. The sky will be turned to steel when we release our new and improved air force. There will be no soldier pilot who will not be caught in fear of having them. Or uh, in fear of them when he hears them approaching, our aviation moves onwards, becoming a modern force to compete with America, China, and Germany. Sikorsky helicopters. Oh, look at this. Thanks, Sweden. Screw you, America. A modern helicopters are the future of modern aerial warfare during these and the following years. Fortunately for us, Sikorsky's company, Sikorsky Helicopters, produces just that. We must employ Sikorsky Helicopters as the producers of our military aircraft, and then own the skies. Skills and genius are needed to be able to say that the aviation of one nation could control the sky over its own, but also someone else's territory. The latter will be our goal during the further development of aviation. We'll have to do our best just because modernizing aviation with new tactics is an expensive job that can cost us a lot at the wrong time, but it'll pay off once we finish it. Control the skies above us so that we can live freely under it, which will be our idea. All right everyone so basically i sort of just finished i didn't really finish the war yet but we're still at the war but i just did a lot of the war off screen as you can tell now we're really really deep into germany but the status of mongolia because i've done quite a few focuses off screen mongolia has been a sour spot for russia and china for years and it's high time we bury the hatchet regarding it the question is how should we deal with it mongolia should be under russian oversight chinese or become a buffer state Whoever under us. But I did go ahead and choose the one on the left side here, our friends in Nanjing. One of our new friends comes from a land few expected the new Russia to be friendly with, that being China. As it stands as one of the most important and powerful countries in Eurasia, as well as a true counterweight to Western influence, they should could indeed become a beneficial friend, promote Chinese investment. The promotion of investment into Chinese businesses is beneficial to us as well as China. They'll surely react with similar policy, making our allies stronger is certainly beneficial as well, and conference on the border. Lands of Mongolia and Tuva remain some of the most hotly contested points of debate between Russia and China ever since the Xinhai Revolution in 1911. As a token of good friendship to our Chinese neighbors, we will attempt to resolve these conflicting border disputes once and for all. The China has become incredibly unsatisfied with the results of w and pulled out of the board conference. Perhaps diplomacy doesn't always work. Oh well, oh well. Whatever. Uh, status of Tuva. While the small state of Tuva provides little in regards to the resources of people it attacks, it was nonetheless a part of China before it broke off following the 1911 Xinhai Revolution. As a former region of China, it's a topic we must now discuss before the conference can come to a close. Should be Russian? Chinese? It should be Russian. Well, as you can tell, I mean, we're doing, we did really well here. Um, yeah, it just took a while to do this war. It's sort of years until 62 February, but on reparations. As the border adjustments are finalized, the price will logically have to be set. The only question is, who will pay for it? Put the bill. China should doubly pay, huh? Public China offers no reparations. Yeah, we're not very friendly with them. But then again, I don't want to choose either one. Like, I don't want to do the, the Nordic ones, because Finland, oh, they refuse a proposal for the Chinese decide against any sort of reparations proposal. Oh, well, just because they own... Russian land, and we can't take it back, which I don't understand, but whatever. And the border conference. Uh, with the border conference finally at an end, we can now both walk away confidently that peace in East Asia can now become a reality for eight generations to come. And submitting our legacy. We have established our ability to successfully lead diplomatic missions, handle relations, and talk civilly without using violence to get away. We're already joining the UN and ready to create our grand coalition of countries with similar ideals and resolutions that are devoted to one another. But let's finish off this war. Yeah, overall, not bad. It just took a while for us to, like, actually 
get them deep enough so they lose enough equipment and hurt themselves enough that they can't do anything against us. It also helps that they only have 15% stability, so it's really nice that, at least on our side, that they do lose like a lot of stability in Warspur if they cannot win too fast, so there's always that to keep in mind, but next time I do this, I'm going to war with Germany. Oh, it'll take a little bit more time to uh, go to war with them. Also, I did already take out everyone else, um, as you can see on the screen. Um, I cored all these other areas too. Well, maybe not all these areas, but you know, like Moscow, the Caucasus, I uh, Technically, it wasn't Austin. It became like some sort of Belarusian unified state. Uh, Central United Central Council, um, because Germany did create the Reichskommissariat Auslan, and then because they were losing, they created the United Central Co Council, and which didn't really do much for them. But you know, it is what it is. And I reload the save just because I sometimes have to do things off screen and then come back to them later on. So it is what it is. But overall, not bad. Um, I don't know. During part of this, I just I got really quite frustrated, I'll be honest. It's kind of frustrating. Eh, we're rolling fire. What? Let's do something different. Um, when I do this, just because some of this is just boring. I'll be honest, like, at least for me, it's like, okay, just grind, 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 grind against the German. That's all we ha can do right now. It's, it's, you know, it's alright. It just, I don't understand why. If they're going to build themselves up so much, why don't they just kill each other off? I mean, they did even, like, you know, preparations for Sea Lion. So, new, the new Ordnum should have went to war with the Toronto Corps because they were doing quite well building themselves up. So, um, yeah. We'll do something here, man. Do something. But, yeah, I guess it's going to be it for pretty much this campaign. We did all the focuses that we possibly could. Except for submitting our legacy, but 35 day focus. Overall, not bad. I didn't finish off these other ones as well. I didn't feel like reading the naval ones. They're, they're just kind of boring. I mean, naval ones, they use the Navy more in Thousand Week Reich than TNO, but even then. Eh. It's eh. So Amsterdam would be nice, of course. I gotta go all the oh god, I gotta go all the way to Brussels. Yeah, and I don't I don't understand why it's lagging so bad. I don't think it's the mod itself. I think it's actually just my computer after I reloaded the game twice. So, oh my computer's okay. Let's hope so. Increase sub production, not bad. Oh, Croatia's having a little bit of a Croatian problem. Oh, look at that, Council of Communism. Also, I did take out Armenia and Georgia, but apparently I could release Armenia as a puppet. I don't know why we did that. What about Dejad Manugian? Manugian, he's a deal broker. That's kind of cool. Focus tree? Oh, Death of jo Gargan. Gargan. Huh. Alright. Cool. Yeah, it's really sad. I mean, yeah, I mean, was, we struggled a lot earlier, but then... As I kept pushing in, they started losing a little bit more and more and more and more. I made more and more and more divisions. And we have horse boys here. Which is alright. Come on, come on. Just take, just capitulate them. My god. Just capitulate them. That's, at this point, there's no way they can beat us. We need quite a few more trucks now. Um, my canals would be nice too. Oh, way more anti-air as well. But still. Like, bro, come on. Just, just die already. There's really no point finding. You have up to 40 divisions max. And honestly, they're probably not even that good. Go, horses, go. I don't want you to be stopped at all. Take, 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 take. Yeah. Köln and Brussels. Go, go, go. We did take Munich, which is good, and Vienna and Berlin and all that good stuff, so. Um, yeah. Overall, not bad. Not bad. Besançon? Um, come on. Keep going. Seriously, keep going. Don't stop. Fill them toughens nice and all, but we're only at 50-some percent, 61 percent. Seriously, oh my god, just keep going. I just don't, I don't like it that America, I mean, this is in the rules that you can set it up that America will go to war them or the Toronto Accords, but like, come on, man. Restore order? Nah, we're good. Anything else we really care about? Eh, more propaganda, maybe. That's always useful to have, but yeah. It just takes time. And you just have to hold out against the Germans before they, uh... Really start losing a lot of stability. I mean, a lot of stability. So I don't understand how Goebbels are still in power. Another 20%. Oh. Heroes Day, huh? Ah. That should expire within a month. Makes sense. Frankfurt would be a great addition to our nation. Come on. My god, this just takes so long. It just takes so long. 
We also have our tanks here too, so just kind of hanging out. Having a good time. Come on, go in. Well, we're almost in Switzerland. Or was once was Switzerland. And we'll be in France soon. We're in the Netherlands already. That's good at least. Come on. Strasbourg. There we go, nice. Nice, good. And we're over there. Come on. Come on. How slow are you going, guys? Three kilometers? Low organization, low infrastructure. Come on, man. Fight him over the river, which is a terrible idea, but whatever. Man, everyone's getting wounded, aren't they? Aston would be nice. Sure, I'm gonna need too many VPs. Not really, but yes, but no. Luxembourg would be nice this time of year. I'm playing political power. We get eventually ended up with over two political power a day just because, you know, we ran out of focuses to do, so yeah. You know, I was complaining all the time. I didn't give them even things to do here. My bad, that's my fault then. Yeah, I just like to complain sometimes. My bad. My bad. At some point, you know, I mean I know he's a total war guy, but like Garibals, you've lost pretty much all of Germany. Gotta give it up, man. Gotta give it up. It's only 2.4 million dead. Oh, there you go. He's almost he's almost gone. And we did take Brussels, so. Well, maybe not. We're close to Brussels. Come on, let's go. There we go. Now they're done. Okay, so I apologize for taking so long and cutting out a lot of this just because it's just really annoying taking them out. Maybe I should have given them so much territory to begin with. United Central Council, as you can see, the Germans form of that one. Uh, this should not exist until the war is over, or at least should not take out all of my territory along the side it. There we go. But, actually, this is going to take less of time than this United Central Council, so. But, yeah, that's going to be it, pretty much it for us. Um, we could wait long enough and, like, actually get this one done, but, come on. Committing our legacy. Uh, that's pretty much it. going to be probably the campaign. What do we have here? Fate of the Ukraine? New capital, look at that. Long last historical capitals of Russia have earned our ownership once again. It's a consolidated rule over a new reunified Russia. We have the opportunity to change the capital city accordingly. The question is, where should the new capital be? Uh, let's go to Moscow. We're birthing Moscow. We're birthing a nation. Alright, so if you want to read about all these, what the game? Bro. Well, please go ahead if you want to read about this. We can Republic has set up a Republic of Estonia and Latvia. T W R Rus Occupation dot thirteen to T. Um I don't feel like it. Belgium, the satellite state, Poland. Uh Germany carved up France in nineteen forty, much like they would do to our motherland a few years later. The territories that were wrongfully taken from France will return to them. I don't know about that. Lithuania? I didn't liberate them. I didn't liberate them. Beta Germany. German mortal enemies not defeated. However, we as a civilized nation will not seek to destroy the Germans as they did to us. Uh, we will rehabilitate them until they're ready to rejoin the civilized world. Until then, we will reoccupy the country with force, whatever force necessary. Okay, I did not release Estonia. That's so stupid. Ukraine? No. Azerbaijan? No. What is this one? Hungary? No. Great Czechoslovakia? Nah. They're Slavs. Slovenia? No. Switzerland? Uh, what should be done about Switzerland, which the Germans have been occupying for some decades now? Fate of the Netherlands? Uh, we're okay. Belarusia? Sort of a government friendly towards them? I don't know about that. I thought we had pound Slavic unity, but I guess it's going to end us here for this campaign just because I don't want to give them the freedom. But, I mean, we're going to get this one done anyway, submitting your legacy, which we can't now see. It is what it is. But there's really not much else to create a faction and get research stuff. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we're not going to release all of these countries. To be puppets. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.